Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Jack, and I'm going to be doing the Sunday talk this morning for kids. And I want to ask a question. Okay? I want you to think about this before you answer it. I don't want you just to come and say the first thing that pops into your head. I want you to really, really think about this. What are you like? Now, that can be a bit of a tricky question, can't it? Because I'm not asking you to tell me what you look like. I'm not asking you to tell me what you think you are like. I'm asking you, what are you really like? Now, really, the best way for me to find out what you are like is for me to ask someone who knows you. Maybe a friend, or a brother, or a sister, or a mum, or a dad. And if I was to ask you, them, what are you like? What do you think they would say? Hmm? Now, I'm sure some of them would say some nice things. But maybe someone might say something that's not very nice. I know if I was to ask my boys, what's your brother like? They would probably tell me, annoying, loud, rude, messy, gets in the way, things like that. And they might not like that. And maybe they are a little bit like that sometimes, but that's not what they're really like. Because ultimately they are brothers and they may fight and they might carry on and they might do crazy things to each other at times, but they still love each other. So it's important to really, really think about that. What am I really, really like? Now, if you were to ask anyone who knows me, what am I like? They would probably tell you that I am devastatingly handsome incredibly intelligent, super funny, amazingly cool, and they would probably say very, very humble as well, and not deluded at all. Now, I am joking a little bit. I'm not really like that. But you know, it's good to really get to know people, isn't it? The better you get to know a person, the better you find out what they're really, really like. And sometimes the better you get to know a person, you know what? You find out, I don't really like this person too much. But then there's other times, and the more you get to like the person, the more you get to know them, the more you like them, the more you want to spend time with them. And I think that's a very, very important thing to know and to remember when you're making friends. What is this friend really like? Are they going to be a really good friend or are they going to be a bad friend? And you should think too, what kind of friend should I be? Will I be a good friend? Or will I be a kind of friend who lets other people down. But the real question that I want to ask this morning is this. What is God like? If I was to ask you to describe God, what would you say God is like? Now that can be tricky because God is very big and he's awesome and he is almighty and he can do so many amazing things. Sometimes we can get caught up and focus not on what he's really, really like, but what he can do. But I want to ask that question this morning. What is God really, really like? Now, thankfully, we have some help today. Because in the Bible, there are lots and lots of verses that tell us what God is like. And there's a very special person in the Bible called David. Now, what was special about David is this. Is that God said David was a man after God's own heart. In other words... David had a heart like God's. So David would really, really know what God is like. And he wrote lots and lots of psalms, which are like songs. And there's one psalm in particular he wrote. It was Psalm 103. And he says in verse 8, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Now, do you not think that that is really, really beautiful? God is merciful and we need him to be merciful because sometimes we sin and sometimes we do bad things and we need a merciful God. But he's also gracious. Now what does that mean? Well that means that God gives us things that we don't really deserve, good things that we don't deserve. He blesses us, he helps us, he strengthens us and even if we don't really spend a lot of time with him or even if we are not as good to him as we should be, he's always there for us. And do you know what's a good thing as well? He's very, very slow to anger. He doesn't get angry quickly. 
And sometimes that can be very, very hard not to get angry because if someone does something bad to you or someone does something bad, you can get angry very, very quickly. But God's not like that. He's slow to anger and he's abounding in steadfast love. Now, what does that mean? It means he's got lots and lots of love. We know that because he loved us so much that he sent his own son into the world to die upon the cross to take away our sin. But it's not just a simple love. It's a steadfast love. And what does that mean? That means it can't be moved. It means God's love is strong and it is secure and it will keep us safe. Let's remember that every day whenever we get up in the morning, whatever we're doing, whoever we're with, we should always be reminding us ourselves about how merciful, how gracious, how loving and kind our great God is. Amen.